Do you need to increase the output level of your microphone in Windows 10? Basically make it louder. Well, this is the tutorial for you. So how do I make my microphone louder in Windows 10? Well, fortunately for you, it's pretty simple. Let's get Control Panel. You'd get Control Panel, you just click the Windows key and you search for Control Panel. Launch that nice Control Panel. Here we have something called Sound. Click on the Sound. There we have the beautiful Sound tab. Amazing. Here we have Recording Devices and you can see we have different recording devices. You want to make sure that you have Show Disabled Devices and Show Disconnected Devices checked. Because sometimes a thing is disabled and maybe this is the microphone you actually want to use. That would be terrible. And if this is the microphone you want to use, click Enable. If you run Sure, enable them all and let's check. You can tap the microphone you want to use and you will see which one of these react the most. Mark the microphone you want to use and set it as default. Um, you can also go to, like this, you can click properties, you can click into listen, you can check this listen, click, click apply, apply. And, and now, now you, you can, can basically listen, listen to this. this. Amazing. Amazing. Here, Here we, we have, have some sliders. sliders. Now, now this, this is the microphone we don't want to use, but you can see here we have a slider that we can increase and lower the sound. On this thing here, you can click this one and you see the sound disappears completely. You can click it again and it comes back. Now, what you might notice, which is pretty interesting, is that this first slider sets the sensitivity of your microphone. So if you have a lot of background noise, you might want to keep, keep this a little lower, like, I don't know, 26. Six. And then you boost the microphone instead. Now, as you can hear, we have a lot of less background noise, but still better volume. However, if you have really trouble to even hear anything, you might want to keep them both to max, but you might get some distortion issues. I'm tired of listening to this thing, so you just turn it off. And here we have another little interesting setting. Now, your built-in microphone for your like PC isn't very good, um, so set that to see the quality. If you have a really good mic, you might have it higher, but it's probably not needed. Some programs like Skype or other communication applications might have problems with what, sh what bitrate you have. If you have any compatibility problem with any program, set this to see the quality. If some programs like Skype or Teams do annoying things to your sound and sound doesn't work, uncheck these two boxes and click apply. Then it might solve the problem for you. But then you need to change the sound settings in here, of course. Um, so that was basically that thing. And of course, if I go to my real microphone here, as it has much better sound, it only has one slider here. So if I increase this, you can probably hear me a lot better now, but you also hear more of the background noise as you hear. So then we might want to keep this a little bit lower down, but now you might think the volume is a little bit too low. For my microphone, I find it's best between 75 and 85. So I never keep this at 100 because then we get some distortion issues. And then we'll just click apply and OK. If this still doesn't get you to the sound level you want to reach, we might need some heavy artillery. Go to the web page in the description. Here we have Equalizer APO. Click download and install this thing. In this little configuration menu here, you need to set for which device APO needs to be installed. I will select my other microphone like that and then just click OK. And there you could see if you want if you need to run it again. All right, and then you need to reboot the computer. All right, the computer is restarted. Now you need to launch the equalizer, which is the configuration editor. Let's close this down and we check the device here, which we go to capture device. All right. 
And here we have something called preamp. Amazing. And what we want to do is make it active. And then we can basically do like this. So we can preamp it like that. Which we can notice if we check the listen to this device. We can go here. And we can hear that if we do preamp here. And we can preamp it up to an uncomfortable level. So, um, of course, I won't do the full full boost, but of course, if we go into levels, max these out, and use this preamp and max that out, you'll get really high volume from your microphone. So, that's basically how to do it. And remember that this program is called Configuration Editor when you need to launch it. I hope this little video helped you with your microphone problems. And if it did, please leave a like. Do subscribe and I'll see you in future videos. You can also donate to the channel if you really want to help it. This is Jim Total Learning Channel, signing out.